That's how you do it right there, man. That's how you do it live. One voice, one guitar. The genius of Rivers Cuomo of Weezer. Weezer. Ah, I love Weezer, man. I love Weezer. I hope Weezer loves me and doesn't give me a copyright strike for playing that song. So let's talk about Julian Assange. Julian Assange is um, unfortunately back in the news and denied his Sixth Amendment right. His Sixth Amendment rights, his protection under the Sixth Amendment. Now, I know what you're going to say. He's not American. He's a he's a Australian. He's he's British. He's from Sweden. He's not he's not American. He's never been to America. But that doesn't matter when the when the, the United States is engaging in law. Right? If they're trying to, you know, they have to follow our Constitution. It's in there, right? And what is the? We'll take a look at the Sixth Amendment in case you forgot what it is, because. I can't ever, you know, we forget. We forget what is in our Constitution and how lawless our our uh, government officials have become in their pursuit of power and and uh, and other stuff. Right. So, so here's Julian Assange. Um, here's the news: Julian Assange blocked from seeing evidence over extradition to U.S. Court told. Ah, so blocked from seeing evidence. You can't do that, can you? Can you block evidence? Can you try somebody and then block the evidence and the actu- the actual, uh, uh, you know, crimes that they uh, are alleged to have committed? No, you cannot do that. Under American, under U.S. law, you cannot do that, right? Julian Assange has been blocked from seeing evidence in his extradition case as he battles against being sent to the U.S. as a, as a court has heard. <clears throat> Lawyers representing the WikiLeaks founder told a hearing they were not being given sufficient access to their client in prison. Mr. Assange appeared at uh, Westminster's Magistrate Court via a video link on Friday for the hearing, which uh, was about extending his custody at Belmarsh. Defense attorney Garth, Garth, Garth Pierce said Assange's legal team was struggling to prepare documents for the case because their client had no access to the evidence. No access to the evidence. Without Mr. Assange's knowledge, some of it is uh, recently acquired evidence. Some of it is subject to months of investigation, not always in this country, of which he is unaware because of the blockage in visits, she said. Wow, you can't do that. Right? Well, it's, can you do it? Well, here's the Sixth Amendment. Here's the American the U.S. Sixth Amendment in the Constitution of the United States of America, and it reads... The Sixth Amendment guarantees the right of criminal defendants, including the right to a public trial without unnecessary delay, the right to a lawyer, the right to an impartial jury, and the right to know who your accusers are and the nature of the charges and evidence against you. Whoa, you're entitled to all that stuff under the U.S. Constitution. Let's read it again because it's important. It's a, it's a big two sentences. Sixth Amendment guarantees the right of criminal defendants, including the right to a public trial, public trial where we could all see it, without unnecessarily, unnecessary delay. They delayed seven years. The right to a lawyer. They're, def- they're, they're getting in the way of his access to his lawyers. That's three violations. The right to an impartial jury, that's impossible in the United States. There's no way. They're not going to try him in front of a jury. How are you going to get a partial jury when the United States has been running this smear campaign for, for seven years about him being a terrorist? How are you going to get an impartial jury? It's impossible. Based on that alone, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a bust, in my view. It has been um, the right to know who your accusers are. And the nature of the charges and evidence against you. All right, he uh, uh, arguably knows the accusers are the United States government, I guess. I don't know. The nature of the charges, well, we saw the indictment. But the evidence, what is your evidence? We had, there is no evidence. So, so despite our best efforts, Mr. Assange has not been given what he must be given and we are doing our utmost to cut through this. Mr. Pierce said the, govern- the governor of Belmarsh had prioritized family visits over legal visits. And asked the judge, he's sitting there doing nothing. Give him the fucking access to his lawyers. What about Epstein? Epstein was sitting in a room 
because he had the money and the and the influence, he was sitting in a room twelve hours a day with a with a teenage uh, attorney, right, stroking his bone in the, in an empty room, right, hours and hours and hours of access, and and here, oh no no, he got to give his mother the, uh, if his mother wants to see him, then his lawyers can't see him, bull fucking shit, but the district judge Vanessa Barristers said. She had no jurisdiction over the prison service. <laughs> Pierce said the governor to Balmarsh had prioritized her. So, so the judge is saying, I don't know, what? I don't mean, I don't know, what? The, ju- the, the prison, they do their own thing. I don't know, I'm just a judge. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. What are you asking me for? I don't know, ask, the, ask them. That's the kind of shit he's getting. I have no desire to stand in the way, this is the judge, of any lawyer having prior... Uh, proper access to their clients, and it's in the interest of justice that they do, she said. What what I can do and say is to state in open court that it would be helpful to his extradition process that Mr. Assange's lawyers have the access to their client. Mr. Assange is being held in prison ahead of a full hearing in February uh, when he will fight extradition to the U.S. He faces 18 charges, including conspiracy to hack into the Pentagon Pentagon computer. Mr. Assange is accused of working with former U.S. Army intelligence analyst Chelsea Manning to leak hundreds of thousands of classified documents. It's always important to remember that this has nothing to do with the DNC hack, the publishing of the DNC hack, but it it has nothing technically to do with it, but it has everything to do with it. Uh, Because you piss off the wrong people. You piss off the fucking Clintons and shit. And now they, now they, you know, look what happens to you. You get stuck in a little prison cell. We, uh, with unkept white hair and beard, he appeared uncomfortable as he sat aw- waiting for the hearing to start, clenching his hands together before putting them inside the sleeves of his gray jumper. Uh, it's already been confirmed by the UN uh, people that came in and visited uh, Julian Assange at Belma- Belmarsh Prison in London that. Julian Assange showed all of the signs of a torture victim, someone being psychologically tortured. It was confirmed by the UN. Still, no change, no, no access, still showing the similar signs. It does seem that he was able to answer basic questions. He spoke to confirm his name, date of birth, and nationality. Mr. Assange's lawyers have previously complained he had been given access he had been given access to an unsuitable computer in prison while doctors have raised concerns over his health and fitness to stand trial. All right, so so that's all. That's the only, uh, what else is going on here? So the Sixth Amendment denied, right? He's being denied a uh, uh, Sixth Amendment in our country, right? So 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 that's it. Marcus Conti reporting. So that's what's going on here, right? We have, we have do we have a constitution or don't we have a constitution? Because if we don't extend that constitution to all people in all our affairs, then we don't have a constitution. We have a selective constitution. We have an oligarchy, a militaristic uh, uh, entity in this country that defies the, the very essence of the Sixth Amendment, where a defendant is innocent till proven guilty, not the other way around. Not we accuse you of this and you have to prove your innocence, like some people think in this country. There seems to be a trend in that where, oh, I said you did this and you did that. And now you got to prove you didn't do it. No, you have to prove, you have to prove guilt. That's how the court system, that's how the system works. Uh, but um, so, I mean, he's, he's being limited to the amount of access to his lawyers. A, an impartial jury, he has to be tried to an impartial jury. That is, that's going to be impossible. He has to know the exact nature of the accusers the charges against him, and the evidence, right, all of which is being withheld from St. Julian. St. Julian Assange, that's his name, man. St. Julian, right? He's doing, look, it's, we got to gotta free this guy. The guy's a journalist, right? He showed us so much about the corruption in, you know, the Iraq war logs where, he, where we saw actual video. He didn't, he didn't steal it himself. He's a publisher and published the documents and the video so that we can see them. He told us about the exact nature of the DNC's wrongs, the exact nature, how they were swindling the 2016 election, how they cheated, and then then how the government turned around and blamed Russia 
without ever asking Assange at all, ever asking him, hey, by the way, who gave you the file? Because they're not interested. They have the, the U.S. government, the narrative is Russia, accept it or, or we'll, we'll, uh, we'll railroad you, just like we'll put you in a cell right next to Julian Assange. So Marcus Conte reporting.